All right, welcome back. Uh, today I'd like to just real quickly go over how to check your paper feedback. Um, so you submitted a paper into the D2L Dropbox and I'm going to show you how to log in and look at the comments that I have written on your paper digitally. Um, there are several advan advantages to this program. I know it's a little bit um, confusing on the front end. It can be a little bit overwhelming to see the comments that I make. But the really great thing about this program is I truly believe that if you utilize it um, the way that I've tried to help you utilize it, it can make you a better writer. Um, we as professors often write things on your paper like, oh, that's not parallel. And you may not really remember what that concept means, parallelism. Um, but if you take a moment, just a moment to study this paper, and um, the grammar rules are written out in the margins of the paper for you so that you can re-examine. Um, when I took a class online, uh, I had a professor who was very diligent about giving these notes, and I truly believe that I became a better writer as a result of this. Obviously, this is optional. You can just take your grade, and um, I can't make you become a better writer. But, I mean, this is what you're paying for college for. And and writing is an essential skill. You'll only get so far if you don't take writing seriously. So I just want to challenge you to look at the notes. Email me about the notes if you have questions. Um, you know, I'd be happy to talk to you more about it. You know, go to the count the uh, tutoring and and get somebody to go over your paper with you. Um, writing is so important. Literacy is so important, and your ability to write and read is uh, really going to make a huge difference in your career in academia. So uh, it's not easy work grading papers. Uh, you'll notice it took me a while to do it because I do take it very seriously, and so I hope that you will take it as seriously. Um, so there's four basic steps. Once you're in D2L, you're going to click on Dropbox, then you're going to cl click on Submission, report and grade mark. So if you have a piece of paper and you want to jot that down real quick, Dropbox submission report and grade mark, that may help you to remember what the next turn is as I'm giving you directions on how to navigate the software. Dropbox submission report and grade mark. All right, so um, obviously you know how to get into D2L or you would not have got into this video, so I won't talk down to you too much. So you'll see here there are three different assignments for this class, uh, or the class that I'm first recording this for. I may use it in a different class, but you click on submissions, right? That's step number one, uh, or sorry, step number one is Dropbox. So the bars here, click on Dropbox, and then submissions. Now you don't actually click on submission, you click on your submission that you want to see the feedback for. So you can see I haven't given any feedback for the live production review yet. So um, click on your specific submission, right? And then you're going to click on the report. The color, um, it'll be different colors depending on the level of um, originality. So turn it in. Right. Once you click on report, it's taking you into the Turnitin program. Now, um, Turnitin is a software that automatically, with a computer program, matches your level of originality. Now, uh, Big Ali was nice enough to let me use his paper here from a speech class. Uh, it was a wonderful paper, um, but he's already submitted. So it's just a computer program. So if it says on your originality report 30% um, not original. Well, you may have 30% of your paper as quotes, and that's absolutely acceptable. So don't freak out if you log in and it gives you a percentage of plagiarism because that doesn't necessarily mean that it is plagiarized. And I will take the time to go through and look and see. Obviously, if you're quoting um, the book and you're citing it correctly, then that's not a problem. It's when it says here, on the side here, submitted to Wikipedia, that we have a problem that you've just cut and paste off the internet, obviously. That is a problem. So um, there are three different here. I have not utilized the peer mark program yet. Um, all that I have used is the grade mark program. And I'm just giving him a couple um, comments here. So the, the way that you do this, and I like that he's got a nice clear heading. A lot of you in this paper didn't have a nice clear heading. So if you would in the future, make sure you have your name, uh, the d date, and my name. That helps me a lot. So uh, if you hover over the little blue box, you can see my comment here. 
um, I would suggest that he just capitalize that and put it all in one line. No spaces here. That's what I prefer. Um, but once again, we get down to a common problem and it has the complete definition of the error that they're making. And so it's not just an arbitrary rule that, or my personal preference, it is a gr grammar rule that they're breaking that is universal in the English language. So over down here you can see run on sentence explains what a run on sentence is. I didn't have to type that in, I just click on it and it reminds you of that every time. Now it's worth saying as well that after I see a repeated problem, um, I don't bother to always highlight it every single time you make that mistake because um, that's just arduous and some of you look at your paper and you see all of those little blue boxes and you get disparaging. I'll also say that sometimes I make positive comments, right? Nice specificity. Um, you know, I believe that we need positive feedback as well as negative feedback. So don't always just assume just because you've got lots of blue boxes that um, that is all bad. So um, hopefully that has helped you see how you log in to turn it in and you see the feedback that's given for you. Nobody can make you a better writer. You have to decide on your own that this is something that you want to commit yourself to. And I hope that I didn't make all of those comments in vain. I hope that you take the time to go back and see my reflections on your writing. Um, if you have any questions, I once again would be happy to talk with you about it. Uh, thanks, and uh, I hope you're having a good time in the class, and uh, I hope you uh, feel like a better writer after you're finished with this course. Thank you for listening.